Measurement files won't even consider buying a product unless it meets some minimum measuring standard. The measurement file has chosen. It can be anything, but a large group of them have chosen SINAD, a number which is based on rolling signal-to-noise ratio and distortion together. Fosse Audio has made a marketing decision to market to these measurement files and are now dependent on meeting a number like SINAD, even if it means neutering a product. As I noted in my test for the Fosse Audio V3 rated at 90 watts with a 48 volt power supply, it wasn't nearly as powerful as a 50 watt Yamaha receiver when connecting a CD player to its line in input. In fact, it was downright anemic. Pushing an 87 dB sensitive speaker to only 77 dB at 2 meters, playing pink noise. Do you know how much wattage is required to reach 77 dB at 2 meters with only 3 dB headroom through a speaker that is 87 dB sensitive? Less than 1 watt. And yes, my venerable Yamaha AS2100, when I level match it to the Fosse, was showing on its beautiful meter less than 1 watt. So I'm on my third bottle of wine reviewing a $4,500 dedicated stereo preamp and Hemholtz comes to me and says, did you see the latest review on ASR? It's the Fosse ZA3 amplifier. You have to read it. It will shock you to your core. Now Hemholtz never says it will shock me to my core unless I'm trying to feed him food from a can and not perfectly sautéed cod or salmon with lemon and capers. And then he will say, if you drop that into my marble bowl, so help me God, I will shock you to your core. So I knew he was serious. So I went over to ASR, and there it is, link in the description, the review of the Fosse ZA3. And it appears that even though most every other YouTube reviewer was stunned by how amazing the Fosse V3 was, the scientific audio file, yours truly, was dead right. Because right there in black and white, it says gain was substantially increased due to user feedback for louder volume. Hallelujah. Other reviewers simply don't test products the way I do. I test them completely differently. I actually plug them in and listen. I don't just take nice pictures and make up stuff, repeating what's on the company's literature and taking it for granted, or reading a measurement page like ASR, and repeating what Amir says. Users are dead right to demand additional gain. But wait, what's this written right after the sentence? That the increased gain? Amir told Fossey that Synad measurement had dropped, calling it a regression from the V3. So Fossey, instead of saying that the users are right, so desperate to get that coveted panther, that coveted number, decided to drop the gain and send in a new sample for testing. The one you will get if you now buy the Fosse ZA3. The one without the additional gain. And this is the problem with measurement files. Equipment is being produced to pass a test and not for actual use. Clearly users were plugging in CDs, DACs, or whatever else they had and were surprised, as I was, that the 90 watt rated V3 was not playing very loud. So for the measurement files out there, I would like to hear how you explain to a layman why a 90 watt 8 ohm rated amp can only produce a single watt of power when connected to a standard CD player playing pink noise from 20 to 20,000 hertz. I want to know how another reviewer on YouTube called it. This is probably the best amp under $300. Even though I compared it to a $200 stereo receiver and told you that even though that stereo receiver costs twice as much as a V3, it is the actual bargain. I want to hear how measurement files tie yourself up in a knot, explaining that while the V3, and also the ZA3, is measured to produce 90 watts of power into 8 ohms, it can only produce that wattage if you give it the expected voltage required in the signal. But everything you actually plug into it, other than a $25,000 piece of test equipment, won't give it that voltage. So here is Fosse coming out with a balanced amplifier version of the V3, the ZA3, making what appears to be another anemic amplifier so that they can get a bunch of measurement files to shell out $149. Oh, they will definitely get a lot of reviewers telling you what a bargain this little balanced amp is, but it's not. It will be as anemic as a V3 in real world use. 
No measurement files. Measurements aren't everything. All things have to be equal. Sinat is just one set of numbers. But without really listening, you will never really know what measurement is best.